Um, it says Secret Garden, so I'm gonna open this up. So I'm currently in my bathroom, getting ready, doing my makeup. Um, can we just talk about also how great the sun shines in through this window? I love it so much. Um, it's just really nice. Bowser loves it too. He'll frequently come in here and just like lie on our bath mat in the sun. Huh, Bowser? Bowser, say good morning. Good morning. Um, so yeah, so I am getting ready. It's like 10.30ish right now. And I've been up since like seven, but I just had a really slow morning of just like organizing my thoughts, organizing my notes, uh, transferring footage, downloading footage, uh, working on thumbnail stuff, watched a documentary, took a bath, that was lovely, cleaned up. Um, I'm actually letting my, you don't need to know this. I'm letting, does anyone else let their, their bed air out? I do that like, I don't know, I change my sheets every week, but I do it every like, couple days. I'll let it air out in the morning and I'll usually spray um, some of my Young Living spray. Thieves, is that gonna focus? Thieves is an oil blend, I guess, that was developed like during the bubonic plague to keep people healthy. I don't really honestly know, but they use it for like cleaner. And so I use it for like anything I just want fresh and clean. I'll spray it sometimes in my purses after I've cleaned them out. Um, or like in drawers, like my underwear drawer, although my underwear's clean, don't worry, but just saying. Um, so yeah, I'm diffusing some lavender and Bernie candle, and yes, I know I have twinkle lights just spread everywhere. The way that I set things up is I tend to like separate things into piles, and then I'll deal with those piles later, so I know I'm gonna wanna hang lights up and do this in here, so I just like brought the lights in and then plugged them in. Anyways, so today is gonna be a pretty, um, chill day. I only have one thing planned today. My arm is getting really tired. I only have one thing planned today and it actually just got rescheduled. I was gonna be eating lunch with a friend. So now my whole day is kind of just to myself, whatever I want to and need to get done. So I might be going out. Um, I have to return a box, possibly pick up some groceries. I'm gonna be filming a video today, a winter haul. Um, because I really want to show you guys some of the winter pieces that I got, or just warmer clothes in general. And yeah, cleaning up, trying to make more progress in the house. I feel like I'm a really slow, like, unpacker and settler inner. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing more of that today. Oh, and also, I've been meaning to do this since I've gotten here. I need to divvy up products again for giveaways as well as for the human trafficking like shelter that's here in nashville so i gotta get that stuff ready to go drop off so um i'm gonna get ready now but i just wanted to say hi makeup is done i got ready really fast today so i don't this only took me like 10 minutes so that's exciting anyways um i wanted to show you guys not only did i make my bread my bread my bed Yay, hashtag goals. Just kidding, I have more goals than just making my bed today. Um, I also wanted to show you guys my new diffuser. So it's not like new, new. I've had it for like maybe a month or so, but it's new in the fact, or in the sense that if you, the sense, the fact, that if you watch any of my routine videos, I used to have a globe diffuser by my bed. So that one, got moved downstairs. This one I actually purchased through Young Living. The other one I purchased at Whole Foods and it's super cool because what you can do, you can change the light to be just like solid colors, no color. If you're, if it's like night and you're trying to sleep white, um, what's this one? I don't know. Like another white. Oh, this one's kind of cool. It looks like a candle. So at night it's super relaxing. Red. Don't ever burn red or I don't ever burn red or do red. Wow. English. But I like to do purple in the day. So Thought I'd show you that. Using tangerine. Yeah. Update number three from my bathroom. I braided my hair. Wow. All right. So now I'm going to go pull my stuff together and film my winter haul. Also, um, I wanted to tell you guys about this moisturizer because I picked it up recently at Trader Joe's and it smells so good. It feels amazing. There are a lot of ingredients in it. But I mean, honestly, I just wanted a vanilla lotion. I was gonna say like, I didn't really, I didn't really read the ingredients that closely. 
Um, but I just really want some vanilla lotion. Saw it at Trader Joe's, got it, smells amazing, and thought I would tell you. All right, so um, to those of you that haven't seen me talk about Urban Juicer in my other vlogs or haven't heard me mention it in my Instagram story, Urban Juicer is a local juice, smoothie, just kind of like healthy goods type place here in Nashville. To my knowledge, there's two of them. There's one over here in East Nashville, and then there's one over kind of like more downtown. But um, I love this place. It's my go-to place for when like I don't want to make breakfast or lunch at home or I'm out running errands. It's really, really good. So I ordered a 24 ounce liquid lunch, so they're making that for me right now. But I thought I would show you what this place looks like because it's so cute. The decor is like adorable. The food, like I said, is delicious, but I'm gonna go ahead and pan this around for you. plant that is. I love like the industrial like pipes and light situation. Um, also it's cool they do a thing called an urban bowl where you like you pick a green, you pick a grain, you pick a protein. So really this place like I said is great for like breakfast or lunch. And then they sell um, juices and little shots and like wraps and stuff like that over here that's pre-made and ready for you to just pick up and go. So if you don't have time to wait for anything you just want to grab and go you can do that but yeah i love this place so i'm grabbing my smoothie and then i'm gonna head to turnip truck to pick up a couple of groceries yeah all right so got my uber Ubin. got my urban juicer also i like this black painted brick i'm having such a hard time talking today anyways um so this is liquid lunch like i said it's banana peanut butter I add cacao nibs in mine, aloe vera juice, or just like aloe vera gel, um, almond milk, and I think that's it. Mm. Very yummy. Okay, I'm being blinded by the light. So first off, I wanna talk about the fact that it's not 30 degrees today. Um, to those of you that don't know, it has been freezing here in Nashville, especially for me being from Southern California. Um, the last few days have literally been in the 20s and 30s, and today it's closer to like 50 it's in like the 50 to 60 range but like mid 50s so i'm about to go into turnip truck Ta -da! i love this place so much i think i might love it more than whole foods um so we live in east nashville like i told you which is on the other side of nashville from whole foods so we still go to whole foods and whole foods is always better stocked than turnip truck for the most part but turnip truck has everything that whole foods has honestly maybe even some more stuff and it's close i love it it's not as crowded but what i wanted to show you also before i go in is look at this park across the street from the turnip truck i feel like it's so like vast and big for being in the middle of the city and it looks i don't know there's a lot of buildings out here that are kind of like harry potter-esque like what even is that i don't know if that's a school or a church i have no idea there are always people out here playing like games like soccer actually I can't lie, I don't even know what games they're playing. Baseball, I don't know. I just always see people out here playing games. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm actually starting to get a little chilly now, so I gotta walk inside. Although, I think I told you guys this. I do think my blood has thickened up a bit because for me, this weather back home in Southern California would have been like freezing weather. So, can we talk about how cute this is? This random wood Christmas tree and all these ornaments? Like, root vegetables like what the heck <laughs> that's so cute birdhouses i think they had a red cardinal over here which i've seen so many red cardinals since moving here there we go so cute all right so today i am picking up two heads of butterleaf lettuce i've eaten pretty much all our butterleaf lettuce um some lemons because we're completely out of all citrus we have no lemons or limes in the house three limes because i do like limes for salsa or guacamole and i'm also getting two things of spring onions because i ate all the rest of my spring onions last night um i also picked up or i'm getting three avocados because avocados are bae um, I'm getting some white mushrooms because white mushrooms are amazing. Um, I think I pretty much used all my mushrooms and the lasagna we have in the fridge that I made, which by the way, I made that for a recipe video and that will be up next week. I made like multiples of my favorite recipes right now. So we're gonna be eating from the lasagna tonight as well. But um, I love mushrooms for breakfast, for a snack, cooked up with onions, other veggies. Oh, so, um, 
Oops, here we go. Then I'm also getting two artichokes just to eat. <laughs> I keep trying to justify my purchases. I just like artichokes. So then I'm getting some shallots. I don't really know the difference between shallots and like onions. I think they're just a type of onion. All I know is they taste so good and I like to cook with them sometimes. So getting three of those. Um, I'm also picking up two different kinds of cheese because I'm all out of cheese. I'm getting some honey goat cheese and a little bit of Parmesan Reggiano. Legit, I'm devastated because they haven't had, nowhere has had my veggie bacon in like a while. I'm hoping they're just like remaking the packaging and coming out with it again though because to be honest, I actually don't see anything else from that brand. Of course now I don't remember what the brand is, but let me know if you guys like any other veggie bacon a lot that's not soy based. Um, because apparently this is really difficult to find. So, yeah. so I'm getting some of the like, bonzo beans because I love mashing these up and making like a like a vegan tuna salad. So good. And then I'm getting some more pasta sauce because I used up um, a jar for lasagna. Actually, I might grab another jar too. I like to have a mustard. Then I'm gonna get some mustard. I've never tried this brand of mustard, but I've tried this brand before and I really like it. I'm all out of mustard, so yay. Also, side note. I just saw this. Have any of you guys tried macadamia nut milk? Because that's really interesting looking to me. Sounds really good. And the side note, packaging's really pretty. But I got on my shopping list a couple of like jarred items. So I got some roasted red bell peppers. Um, some of these called Greek pepperoncinis. Well, I feel like my stuff's about to fall. And then I also got a jar of artichoke hearts. I was actually watching the Pioneer Woman the other day and she made a really yummy looking uh, like Mediterranean wrap. I kind of have actually made a recipe similar to that in the past, but I realized I wanted to get some jarred goods. And from time to time, Dan and I like using garlic olive oil instead of regular olive oil. And we bought our last batch from Trader Joe's and the batch before that from Whole Foods. So I've never tried this company High Harvest, but decided to try it. 100% extra virgin olive oil, cold extracted, and unfiltered. I'm pretty pleased because apparently I'm on Lush's mailing list now. I've never received stuff from Lush, but the other day I got a package, which I will show you guys later. I already unboxed that. And then today I just got another package from them. I'm way too hyped about this. Um, it says Secret Garden, so I'm gonna open this up. Okay, so here is everything I got, and I am way too excited about this situation, specifically because of this. I have been literally obsessed with Lush's lip scrub for like, or their lip scrubs for like over a decade. And this is their newest, they actually have like a full on, I think Christmas line because they sent me another one of these in that other package, but it's a different flavor. So I'm really excited to open this and smell it and try it. I love their stuff. Um, and then this, Rose Argan or Argon, Argan, I'm not sure. Really excited to try this because I know people are obsessed with this and I've never tried it out, so that's pretty exciting. Um, their Sleepy Body Lotion, which is basically like a lavender body lotion, but um, it has a really unique smell and I've never bought it. I've only like smelled it. Whoa, what's going on? There we go, I've only smelled it at the store. Then they gave me this Rose Jam Shower Gel, yes. Um, a body soap, which I'm not sure like the scent or anything like that. And then a, some kind of scrub. It says, I don't know. It doesn't say what it is. I'm wondering if it's on here. Oh, it is in here. Oh, saucy. Where is it? Saucy snowflake or snow cake. Oh, it's a Buffy. Oh, it's a Buffy bar. I thought it looked like Buffy. I am obsessed with these bars. I haven't had them in years. It's basically like a body scrub bar. I'll need to get like a bag to store it in. Um, but I'm pretty excited. So I don't know if I'll be keeping all the Lush stuff I got. I'll show you guys the stuff that I got upstairs. Probably not. I'll probably be giving some of it away. So check the info box because I might just do that in this video. And yeah. All right, peeps. So here is the pile of stuff I got from Lush. Uh, two days ago. Some of this is a little bit messy looking because it kind of like melted slash smushed in the packaging. Like these things, I don't actually know what they are. They're like soaps. Like that's not a package. That's like a soap. I should probably... Oh, that's nice. They wrote a little card. Oh. Okay, so um, I should probably read this. Oh, this must be what it is. So it's Soap, so going naked has never been easier. We're firm believers in giving customers a choice. That's why we've created naked versions of some of our newest holiday creations. Choose naked or packaged, it's up to you. So, oh, 
Oh, okay, so this is Santa's shower gel. That's cute. Um, the purple one is the Rose Jam shower gel. Right, isn't that what that is? That's interesting that that's purple because here it is packaged, but it's red in the package and purple when it's naked. That's very interesting. So then I got this Chris Tingle, Chris Tingle body conditioner, um, invigorating peppermint and menthol crystals, energize skin and tingly, or with tingly holiday excitement. Wow, um, that's exciting. Also, side note, I just started my period like 10 minutes ago. So I'm in a lot of pain now, slash having an even harder time with English. All right, so um, this thing, once upon a time naked body lotion. I'm like reading everything to the left, that's cool. So that's a body lotion, that's pretty exciting. Um, and this is the Chris Dingle Naked Body Conditioner. So that is the same thing as this. So now I can smell it. Oh my gosh, oh. My gosh, that smells amazing. Oh, it's melting in my fingers though. It's a little weird. Um, that smells amazing though. So then over here we have the Once Upon a Time body lotion. I'm excited to smell that. Um, it says glide this rich jojoba oil with a muru muru. Never heard of that. Body lotion over your skin and watch dryness disappear. That's exciting. Lush has. Like, they make my favorite body lotion, hands down. Dream Cream is incredible. If you've ever suffered with, like, eczema um, or anything, like, just really sensitive skin, Dream Cream from Lush is amazing. It's the only thing that ever got rid of my eczema. I had tried, like, cortisol cream. Didn't help. Prescription creams didn't help. But Dream Cream from Lush helped, and so I love it. Um, then I told you they sent me another, like, Christmas lip scrub, and this is the Santa Baby Lip Scrub. It's this cola flavored sugary scrub for a sweet polished pout. Really excited to try that. Um, then over here, we have the Twilight Body Shower Gel. Um, I feel like I have another one of these, so I might be giving this away. Uh, then I have this Santa Baby Lip Tint Lip Balm. So it's another like cola flavored lip balm. This isn't wanting to focus, sorry peeps. And then in here, we have a bath melt. And I think this is the, wait, no? Oh, this is a naked lip tint. Let me smell it. I thought it was a bath melt. Oh my gosh. This smells so amazing. Ooh, we'll have to see how that works. That's exciting. So, yeah, overall, I'm just like beyond ecstatic that Lush has me on their mailing list now. So, um, check the info box for what I'm going to be giving away in this video because I'm definitely going to pick from that, like, pile of loot and be giving some of it to you guys today. And I've been doing lots of giveaways recently on my Vlogmases. If you didn't know that and you haven't been checking the info box, you can go back and check the info boxes. And yeah, um, my next plan was to organize all of this. I think I told you guys I'm trying to pull together what I'm bringing to the human trafficking shelter. But now that I started my period, I feel like I'm dying. I'm just gonna take it one step at a time and see where I get the rest of the day. Um, so yeah, I gotta go put on some sweats because Ouch. This is night two of eating leftovers. This um, this is food that I made for a cooking video that's gonna be on my channel soon on like how to meal prep, but it's meal prepping my style. Like, I mean, this is like my third night. Did I say second or third? I think it's my third night having this lasagna. It gets better and better each time. And I just pour a little extra sauce on it, heat it up in the oven, and then when it comes out, I grate a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top and then do a little truffle salt. And then this is my leftover salad. Yep. Oh, I just realized I should have told you that that was super hot. All right, so I'm going to eat this now, but so good. And I'm really excited for you guys to see the video, especially since the food turned out so delicious.